When does a home become a complex? That's crazy. Cause not only like complex, like a, a, a complex of, you know what I'm saying? But a complex, like, you know how people be like, you got a certain type of complex. Come on. Has a double meaning for the series, both as a physical prison complex as well as a psychological mental. Chat, I do this. All right, I do this. This what I do. I do. I do. Boys vert. I never even heard of this. Guy, you from a uh, Street Fighter with the head. This is a movie. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Film Theory, the show that encourages you to. Cry out. Cry out. Cry out. And if the choppy black and white animations haven't clued you in yet, yep, we're in that part of YouTube again. That shadowy corner where anything goes, where you'll see things that burn themselves into your mind. That corner oh, nah, that you probably crazy. shouldn't be watching at 3 a.m., but you're gonna try to anyway to see if you're brave enough to last. And then you're gonna pass it on to your friends as a humble brag saying, look, I watched this, can you? The horror in question today is a small indie channel that I've had my eye on for a while now called underscore Boisvert, or as I believe it's actually pronounced, Boisvert. When I see the underscore Boisvert. at the beginning, it always makes me think that there needs to be a dramatic pause there, like <gasps> Boisvert. Anyway, Boisvert is French and literally translates to green wood, which I don't think has anything to do with the twisted images that you're about to be seeing in its videos. The phrase is also used in a French figure of speech, un volet de Boisvert, which means okay. a barrage of criticism. Likely more why it was chosen for the series and not the whole green wood thing. Regardless, I'd like to take this opportunity to offer a formal apology to the entirety of the French language for this video. Anyway, <laughs> Boisvert is a peculiar little channel with imagery and sound design that's equal parts creative, creepy, and cryptic. The videos are almost avant-garde in their use of visuals, combining a lot of different animation and filmmaking techniques into something that's truly uncanny and often terrifying. Yo, if you do psychedelics and watch this, you're done. You're going into another dimension, okay? Might have to try it. Seriously, from the very first <laughs> video, we jump from traditional sequentially drawn animation to skin crawling live action with heavy filters and rotoscoped visuals. <laughs> And that's just what's on the surface of the very first video. Look a little deeper and you start finding allusions to biblical stories, horrifying monsters, and a heightened, almost academic language. 1,000 decisions made in the name of a desiccated existence. Look up from here, watch, and tell me when you will grant forgiveness to the one most lacking. There's also a lot of imagery in there of floating hands trying to give us the tickles. So that's fun. If you can manage to brave your way through its uploads, it's clear that there's a story here, but the timeline of events is completely out of order. There are also elements of an ARG here, like Morse code and QR codes that are linking to unlisted videos. And you know- Who put this together, all right? There's gotta be some type of syndicate. I'm not gonna say crime. It might be some other type of syndicate though, all right? Like me when I see an this is crazy. Analog horror series with ARG elements can't help but get to the bottom of it. There is clearly a deeper story hidden in this channel just now under the surface. Like the black cast what I found at the end of the mystery Amen. was not at all what I would have expected. Waver is simultaneously one of the darkest and twisted explorations into human emotion that I've seen. And yet, once you understand what you're watching, it hits hard. It is real. It connects in a way that most other media doesn't. And to top it all off, it's uplifting. Don't let this fool you, friends. This story has itself a happy ending. That said, before it gets there, Boisvert is heavy, friends. Consider this your content warning. Okay. Today, we're braving our way through topics like depression, anxiety, isolation, and self-harm. But I okay. promise you, it all comes out good in the end. So, what is the creator of Boisvert trying to say through all the unsettling whispers? Let us begin. From the very first video, Take Care, it's mm -hmm. clear that we're diving into a plot that has a lot to say. Here, we meet our main character, an artist. I'm gonna call him Antler's Guy because none of the characters in the series appear to have official names. Antler's okay. Guy counts the small victories where he can, including waking up at a reasonable hour, consistently okay. exercising, ignoring the noises downstairs. Yeah, 
you can kind of see where this one might be headed. Before too long, Antler's guy is drawn to the noises, heading down into the basement, and it's there that we meet our main monster, Room, a shadowy figure with a disturbing triangular nah, head. Crazy. Suddenly, in a jarring twist, the art style shifts to live. You sound about to get cursed watching this? Oh yeah, we done. We're done. Listen, we're already 25% of the way in, all right? Might as well keep going. ...with the entity <laughs> charging at the camera, whispering a series of pointed questions. When did you last go outside? When did you last see your friends? Uh, yesterday. Uh, it today. It is creepy stuff. But the questions that Room asks us give us our first clue as to what the series is about. Based on the video's upload date, May 2020, and the very first words that we see on screen, these are troubling times, my friend, we know that Boisvert is exploring the feelings of isolation that were brought upon by the COVID, COVID lockdowns. Yep. Basically, this thing is like Bo Burnham's Inside Without the Musical Numbers mm. and Instagram jokes. Antler's guy is clearly having difficulty adjusting to the isolation, and this triangular-headed figure in the basement represents the depression that lurks within the depths of his mind. But this isn't the first time that he's had to deal with Room or the depression that he represents. In a later video entitled Entirely Beloved, we hear that Antler's guy has always struggled with bridging the chasm and drawing near without reprisal, this aka connecting with other people. And though he's actively tried to seek out relationships, he's never been able to find them. But it is to no avail. We also see this play out in another video, They Don't Know. Here, Antler's guy is consumed by the dark figure while attending a party before the lockdowns happen. Clearly, mm. no one understands his distress. He begins to flail around wildly and no one responds to it. Interestingly, this video is also based on the They Don't Know meme, which Facts. also had an earlier <laughs> incarnation with the caption, I wish I was at home. A phrase that makes me want to say, be careful what you wish for, friends. But that was before. Now I ain't gonna lie. I like the lockdowns, all right? You know what I'm saying? I, 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 it was all right. Outside was cheap. Everybody was inside. I'm doing my thing. Now that Antler's guy's been <laughs> quarantining at home, the depressive thoughts are seeping into every other part of his life, most obviously his work. We see that same shadowy creature appearing as a drawing while Antler guy tries to remain productive in lockdown. And that's not the only moment it happens. While scrolling through the video frame by frame, if you pause it at the perfect moment, you'll see room peeking in at Antler's guy through the window. This whole idea of your house, your room, a once safe place now becoming an oppressive prison is a nice. major through line for Boisvert's thematic narrative. In a later video, Prelude Angel's Warning, there's a series of dots and dashes down in the description. Morse Seasoned code. air jeers will immediately recognize this as Morse code. Yep. And when you run it through a translator, it asks, when does a home become a complex? That phrase is also included in a secret message in the same video. Hidden in That's crazy. Because not only like complex, like a, a, a complex of, you know what I'm saying? But a complex like, you know how people be like, you got a certain type of complex. Come on. Hey. They get somewhere. The closed captions during some heavy breathing. Either way, that question, when does a home become a complex, has a double meaning for the series, both as a physical prison complex as well as a psychological mental health. I do this! All right, I do this! Health complex. Antler's guy clearly <laughs> feels trapped not only in his home, but within the confines of his own mind. But when the prison finally opens its doors, when the world becomes safer and he's able to get out again, things just get worse. The damage has already been done. Antler's guy is still terrified of going outside, but now he has the added layers of guilt and otherness to contend with as the mm. world moves on without him. We see this in the video Burning.mp4. Released in March of 2021, Burning states that an entire year has passed since the world was shut down and our protection protagonist is not doing well. His expression is now permanently veiled in shadow. Instead of waking up encouraged, he views his life as just a series of endless cycles that continue to repeat. He lives paralyzed in the basement, watching the rest of society through the window. Now, all he can do is stare at a blank- This is why I be telling people, go outside, bruh. Every YouTuber who come to Atlanta, I always take them outside, because a lot of times you get locked into this cycle, and then you forget the world exists outside. You have to go outside and be with people. We're, we're social creatures, bruh, all right? Did, hey, this channel might be on to something. ...sheet of paper and bash his head into the desk until he's fully consumed by his inner darkness. Mm. You're screwed. You're gaming as you. Brain, you're straight in the face. Yeah, Come 
Come on, Thankfully, bro. Antler's guy isn't completely without hope. Next upload, Continue dramatizes his internal battle as a video game showdown between two new figures, Skullface and Dogface. Again, okay. because they don't have official names, we're just gonna call these characters Pessimism and Optimism, respectively. Oh. And let me tell you, this video's got pretty much everything you'd want in a good showdown. A hero, a villain, a music track that absolutely slaps. Pessimism looms large over a game over screen, and Antler's guy has to contemplate quitting. Notice that the default option on the screen is actually quit. Oh, However, cool. even when Antler's guy chooses to continue, Pessimism replaces the option for a split second as not a chance, encapsulating the hopelessness that's consumed Antler's guy. We actually see literal manifestations of those thoughts scrolling by in the text above and below Pessimism. Goes pretty fast, but if you pause on certain frames, you can see phrases like, I've always deluded myself. I will end you today and every subsequent day. You will have no hope. I suspect that these are his inner monologue. The negative Come things on, that bro. he's telling him. The complex you develop over time. Cause when does a home become Hey speaking man himself as he spirals further and further downward. Thankfully, optimism appears, representing an option to continue, battling and ultimately stabbing pessimism. Antler's guy will continue for another day. In its final moment, pessimism even sprouts dog ears, representing how pessimism can be reshaped into optimism if you just give it the chance. Interestingly, I believe that optimism in the story is represented by a dog-faced creature because there That's was a true. massive spike in pet adoption during the pandemic, with one in five American households adopting either a cat or a dog. Mm. For many, these furry companions served as a ray of sunshine that brought much needed positivity and optimism to people at the height of COVID's nasty strain of isolation. In a later video, we do see a dog That's avatar crazy. representing optimism, so it does seem to track. But as anyone struggling with depression knows, it's not about winning just one battle. This isn't the sort of diagnosis where you have a single moment and suddenly you've conquered depression. Handling depression it's a mindset, is a process bro. that takes time. And we see that- It takes a long time, bro. To get out of them, them, like once your mind gets stuck in a cycle, it takes a long time to break it. A long time but you know what I'm saying the one thing you need and is the most uh, uh, addictive drug on the planet all right is hope <laughs> hey listen chat I'm trying to tell y'all bro I be knowing things I don't be saying a lot but I be knowing all right happening in the next as long as you hope that it could happen you always keep taking steps forward until you get to the light out the darkness bro Quotable holly in the building. Don't never say I ain't tell y'all nothing, all right? Series of uploads to Complex <laughs> and Entirely Beloved. Pessimism returns in a new, much darker form called the Complex. Complex is an aberration, yet you have shredded a hole within yourself that only it may fill. The Complex <laughs> has driven Antler's guy to push everyone away, and in so doing, he's trapped him in a new prison, one entirely self-made, forcing him to sit alone in silence with all these dark thoughts, just spiraling. Because he feels as if he's missing something, Antler's guy draws even further in from everyone around him. On a community post from the channel, we actually see this reiterated. It says, something is missing, with mm. a hex code that leads to this image of a chair, and a QR code leading to Antler's guy sitting on it, alone That's forever crazy. in a dark room. All of this causes Antler's guy to be entirely consumed by his dark room persona, sent not just to the basement, but into a deep well in the basement, lower than low, the literal abyss of despair. It's there that he comes to a disturbing conclusion. Though he always wanted genuine connections with other people, he simply couldn't bring himself to take that chance because he was afraid. He explains, And when you come here, you will see in my eyes. Here. But it's mm. not just that he's afraid of other people, he's afraid of not being loved. I say this because the video ends on the French word for fear, peur. But the closed caption subtitles actually replace the word fear with, with love. love. Okay. In fact, the complex actually spells it out for us. For a brief moment in the video consequences, a QR code appears in the corner. And once this thing's scanned, it takes you to a secret unlisted video. Here, the complex explains that love is not a guarantee in anyone's life. Facts. Anyone unfortunate enough could go through life without ever feeling love. It would be an entirely alien concept to them. Even when consumed by the mm. room entity, Antler's guy still wants to feel the warmth of love. And his depression has left him so emotionally drained that- Bro, I'm about to tell y'all what love is, bro. I'm about to tell y'all, look. All it means, feeling loved, is to feel understood, bro. That's what love is. Lo loving somebody is attempting to understand them, okay? So, you go through life, all people, and this is why people need to talk to each other. But this is why you develop that complex when you stay alone by yourself, right? Because when you're alone by yourself, 
You keep thinking about how nobody can understand the things that you go through. But when you talk to people, you realize like, dang, mad people go through the same thing I go through, have the same thought process I go through. And then you feel a level of feeling understood because it's like, dang, all right. You be having the same type of dark thoughts. You be having the same type of uh, pessimist thoughts. You know, okay, maybe I'm not tripping. Maybe there are people out there like me. That's why people need to go outside and talk to each other. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, I may not have a therapist license, all right? But listen, come, come to the chat, bro. Come to the chat. We, we handing out, you know what I'm saying? We handing out hope. Even the concept of love feels foreign to him. All of this becomes too much for Antler's guy. In the final shot of Entirely Beloved, Room looks up and we see that his mask, the only thing that allowed him to face the world, is shattered. We see the fallout of this throughout the rest of the video consequences. The once calm and clean space that Antler's guy lived in is now wild and chaotic. The home has become a true reflection of the distress that he feels within. And with this, we arrive at the climax of the story arc, Zoning Ordinance. Even the title's a hint at what we're about to see. Zoning ordinances dictate how a specific property is meant to be used and since the state of antlers guy's dwelling space represents his mental state this video will decide which mindset will govern him will he give into his dark thoughts or will he defeat them and move forward antlers guy is consumed by a shadow form sitting at the bottom of a deep pit in the basement while complex looms over him that's when the injured optimism arrives bloodied but not beaten in fact it literally drags the corpse of pessimism with him as it arrives at the pit immediately the complex lashes out and attacks optimism trying to drown out its positive intentions this this then starts Next, another battle happens. and another killer beat. During the struggle, Pessimism's corpse is knocked into the pit, and Antler's guy begins to devour it, symbolic of how in his depressive state, he's literally feeding on negative thoughts. And during this epic struggle of positivity versus mm. negativity, optimism against pessimism, hope versus depression, Antler's guy is wounded as a knife falls into the pit and strikes him. I think this is Boisvert's way of portraying the topic of self-harm, but in this mm. moment, he encounters the angel, which, uh, not really the thing that I want to see while I'm approaching the pearly gates, gotta say. <laughs> then again, some angels in the Bible are described described as interlocking golden wheels covered in eyeballs. So, you know, maybe this thing is more accurate than I'd care to admit. Oh, Regardless, crazy. the angel comforts Antler's guy, asking him to recenter his thoughts on himself, picturing himself as the center of an empty room. It encourages him to cry out so that no one can ignore him, telling Antler's guy that it's okay to ask for help. Antler's guy reaches out to the angel, pulling off its face and then putting it on himself Majora's mask style. But I don't suspect that this is a mask hiding us from other people. Instead, I think it's representative of Antler's Antler's guy putting on a new brave face so he can confront his own depression and enter the world that scared True. him for almost his entire life. The moment he grabs the mask, the closed captions read, I've wanted to know you in this way for so long. Antler's guy has found something that he can connect with and open up to. Back in the pit, hands erupt out of Antler's guy and lift him out of the pit, grabbing the complex and ripping it to shreds. The very last thing that How we see in the- people shoot stuff like this, though? These are some talented people, bro. Video is Antler's guy. I got Still no water on me. Still consumed by the depressing room entity disappearing and leaving behind only the outline of his silhouette. Morse code hidden in the closed caption at this point tells us goodbye and hello. And the video's description reads, Bro, Lupe Fiasco had a song called Hello Goodbye. Bro, come man, see, I be knowing stuff, bro. I be knowing. And he said, uh, he said, uh, wish they could get their hands on a mask that he wore on his face. They could put somebody else in his place to restore the, the, the state, the illusion that is great. The, the faith that being a slave is so great is get bro y'all gotta go listen to the song but this come on bro i be knowing stuff bro i be knowing it's an ending a continuation a beginning despite antler's guy saying goodbye to the complex brought on by a lifetime of fear and incited by the home lockdowns the darkness inside of him still lives on in a small way if you get the concept of what they trying to say bro Depression still follows him. It always will. But we're now saying hello to a new start, a new beginning, a chance to coexist with the darkness, to understand it, and most importantly, to handle it in a healthy way. And with that, we see the closing of this chapter of Boisvert's story, something that I'm going to call the complex arc, with our central character mm -hmm. reasserting his voice and taking steps to pull himself out of his literal pit of despair. Now, to be honest, there's more to Boisvert's story. Really, there is, considering the channel's still actively uploading. So it's likely that I'll probably revisit the channel at some point down the road if you this liked it, but for fire, now, man. I just honestly appreciate how well this story's told. For as horrific as the visuals get, the message is actually real and hopeful. When you live with clinical depression or anxiety, you simply don't defeat it like you see in so much media. It doesn't just go 
away vanquished. Bro, it's just like everything in life. They teach you even like in the Bible when you read it or any religious text, bro. Evil happens. Darkness always consumes light over over a course of time. But you, it takes effort for things to maintain its quality, all right? The good doesn't get to stop working because bad is always working, all right? What is bad is always working. So, yes, you made it through today, but tomorrow it's going to be another. You're going to have to take more steps forward because that, that darkness is still behind you. You know what I'm saying? But you got to make sure to stay back there, all right? But once you learn how to take the steps, you're going to stay out the darkness, but you got to keep moving, man. Instead, you have to learn to live alongside it. It'll Whoa, just keep swimming. Just keeps. Come on, bro. They be teaching. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to listen, though. Way that allows you to continue <laughs> moving forward. And sometimes you're going to fail. Sometimes you're going to backslide into another nice. depressive episode. And that's okay. No one is going to be at their best every single day. And it's okay to reach out and ask for help when that sort of thing happens. And that's going to be true for a creepy looking YouTube protagonist or for you watching at home dealing with the hard Fire times for yourself. Episode, As they say at the end of zoning ordinance, cry out. Cry out. Cry out. And I bet that you'll find an audience of people willing to listen, able to relate, and eager to help. That's but what hey, I told you. that's just a theory. A, a film, film theory. theory. And cut. Now, listen. A lot of things people do as kids. Kids are some of the... Kids are the smartest humans we got, bruh. Listen. Because they haven't developed coping mechanisms yet in life. All right? So a lot of things they do are... What keeps humans being social creatures, right? Crying, screaming, tantrums. You know what I'm saying? All of these things are saying, look, I feel a way and I need somebody to understand why I'm feeling like this so we can help fix me in this moment. That's why kids do that, bro. But as you get older, they teach you stop crying, stop, stop screaming, stop yelling. Then, uh... I don't want to hear your problems. And it all turns into these things that put you into becoming a shell of yourself. And then people feel the despair. The darkness starts to catch up because you don't have people. And people are like, ah, oh, you're, you're, you're grown. Deal with it yourself. That's not how life is, bro. Uh, another famous uh, philosopher by the name of Dave, he once said, uh, I'm 24 I'm a adult in the eyes of the law, but still a baby in the eyes of the Lord. That's what he said, bro. And that's facts. Because over the grand scheme of time, all right, we all are really relatively young in comparison to the span of time. All right? So, you know, we're still figuring things out. So no matter how old you are, 6, 76, everybody need people to talk to to realize, like, ah, there's still people like me out there. That's what just did, bro. WV, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Peace. Who said we ain't body test the gang and you'll get touched? You'll get touched. She ride it, Kawasaki, roll my blunts and keep it quiet. Money is the motor, so we keep it on our mind. On our mind. You keep putting the stretch, yellow tape, so.